Welcome back to Canada's favorite singing show, Canadian Fidel. Not Idol, because we're definitely not going to get sued for that one. I'm your host, some guy who still thinks he's relevant on the internet when I'm probably not. Starting us out this week, we've got a great guy all the way from British Columbia here to show his stuff and perform the only song that we can't be copyrighted for. It's going to be Valley, performed by Zach. Give it up. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was amazing. And now let's see what the judges had to say for your performance. Ooh, it looks like they're going to be giving you a zero, unfortunately. It looks like we're going to have to drop you out of the competition. Uh, any last words? Um, yeah, is there actually any audience members even here? Or... I'm sorry, we're all out of time. Thanks for playing, Zach. And thank you for watching Canadian Fight at Home. Be sure to tune in next time when we got more competition and possibly an audience member or two if we can survive the lawsuits. But anyway, thanks for watching. We interrupt this program to bring you an important message. <laughs>what is up canada it's your man zach coops and i'm back at it again bringing you the best in canadian music that i can muster up this week from that lovely website of ours canadianbeats.ca of course link to the description down below i'm gonna break it down for all the new people out there but we're gonna be featuring two awesome songs that will be featured over on canadian beats that you the fans will have the chance to vote on from monday to saturday night whichever song counts with the most votes by the end of that week though is going to be moving on to the next round of the beatdown and if they can take on six weeks in a row they will be inducted to the weekly beatdown hall of fame well, that isn't all, we have also got Zach's Picks of the Week, four recommendations from either Canadian Beats or just the internet that I have picked for you guys to go and check out and spin a whole bunch of times, add them to your favorite playlist because, you know, I have already added them to my playlist, so you know they're really good. Anyway, we're going to check them out later on the show, but you guys need to check out the two songs that we'll be facing out this week here on The Beatdown for your votes at home, so be sure to get your votes in for your favorite this week, but without further ado, let's jump into the first artist that will be taking the top song from last week. Well, it looks like London, Ontario DJ and producer Shades is back once again with his amazing collaboration with Attack on Bash called Catch Me If You Can for their second week in a row here on the Weekly Beatdown. This song is available, of course, on all your favorite streaming platforms, and you can go and check out the full video over on Canadian Beats, and if you guys want, just go make a TikTok out of it. It's a really great song. Heck, I might even make a TikTok out of it. I don't know. I just don't know any good dance moves, so Bash, actually, if you're watching this, if you hit me up, that'd be great. But anyway, be sure to get your votes in, everybody, for your favorite song this week. If you want to see Shades and Attack on bash move on to the next round of the beatdown be sure to get your votes in over on the website canadian beats but of course without further ado people let's check out a clip right here from catch me if you can by shades and attack on bash our top song this week That is going to be a clip from our top song this week here on the Weekly Beatdown, Catch Me If You Can by Shades and Attack on Bash. Be sure to get your votes in over on the website, Canadian Beats, if you want to see these guys move on to the next round of the Weekly Beatdown. You, of course, have got from Monday to Saturday night to get your votes in for your favorite song, so be sure to hit up that link down below in the description, or if you want, go check out the link in my bio as well on Instagram. They're all down below there as well, so go check it out. But now it's time to check out our next competition that will be joining us here on the Beatdown that you will all be voting for as well. Toronto, Ontario rock artist known as Dead to Find is back with probably his most experimental track to date. The new song is called Ignite and is available now on all your favorite streaming platforms, so be sure to go check it out and spin the hell out of it. Singer Craig Ewan had this to say about the brand new song. I wanted to bend the mold of my typical four on the floor percussion rock anthem and push the boundaries when it comes to the sound and style of this tune. I now have the freedom to do so, and having the freedom to experiment by dipping into different genres is really what I love to do as of lately. If you want to check out the full video for Ignite, be sure to go over to the website Canadian Beats and get your votes in for your favorite song this week for the weekly beatdown but without further ado let's check out a clip right here from my boy this is dead to find with his brand new song ignite right here on the weekly beatdown people although i feel it inside there's nothing left to ignite i say there's something to try but all that's left is Like I do. 
And of course, these are going to be the two awesome songs that we'll be facing off for your votes this week here on the Weekly Beatdown over on the website canadianbeats.ca. Link to the description down below from Monday to Saturday night, so be sure to get those votes in, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, now we've got Zach's Picks of the Week coming up now for recommendations that I have handpicked for you lovely people of the internet, so be sure to enjoy them because I definitely have, and I've already added them to my playlist, so you know you need to as well. That's it. That's the intro to Zach's Picks of the Week, so let's check it out. Number four right here. East Coast country pop artist Carolina East has just unveiled her brand new single, Until You Are Sorry, which is available now on all your favorite streaming platforms and is going to be her fifth single coming off of her upcoming new album, Soaked in Whiskey, which you can check out on May 21st when it comes out. And this brand new single is a heartbreaking ballad that takes a look at how much forgiveness you're willing to give your romantic partner. Be sure to go check out the full article over on Canadian Beats about Carolina and go and check out her song, Until You Are Sorry, available on all your favorite streaming services, but don't go anywhere because I'm going to show you a clip right here on Zach's Picks of the Week at number four. Next up at number three, after a two year hiatus, it looks like Too Soon Monsoon is returning to the music scene with their brand new song, Be Easy. This single is the first off of their live off the floor symphonic album and the first one with their brand new band member, bassist Steve Adams, who previously played in the group One Bad Son. The track was recorded over three consecutive days in an old converted church outside of Saskatoon called The Sound Castle and tackles the need to have compassion for yourself and for others. Go and check out the full article over on Canadian Beats as well as go and check out the brand new single, Be Easy on all your favorite streaming platforms, but we're going to check out a clip right here from Too Soon Monsoon at number three on Zach's Picks of the Week. Taking the number two spot on my picks of the week, we have got a brand new interview over on Canadian Beats with the very talented musician, actor, and director Wes Mack, who has just dropped his brand new single, Don't Change, available now on all your favorite streaming platforms. With 2020 being a difficult year, it looks like on a positive note, Wes is bringing us some brand new music for this year, so be sure to keep an eye out for all sorts of new stuff coming from him. But as well, go and check out that interview over on Canadian Beats, like I just said, it's linked in the description down below. But without further ado, this is going to be it right here at number two on Zach's Picks of the Week. Wes Mac and don't change everybody. A lot of good love goes to waste. But the world for me is always gonna be like a July sky is always gonna be blue and even when it ain't. I'll be loving you the same and that don't change. My final spot goes out to my friend Troy Junker in Toronto, Ontario, who just dropped his brand new single, Ever Since I Could Remember. It's available now on all your favorite streaming platforms, so be sure to go check it out and save it to your playlist. This brand new single of his definitely shows his work hard and play harder attitude. The lyrics acknowledge the past, but look forward to what the future has in store, and I think he's ready for it. And this song is probably going to get stuck in your head now, so that's why it's at number one on my picks of the week, so shout out to you, Troy. Great song, man. And without further ado, everybody, this is going to be Troy Junker and Ever Since I Could Remember at number one on Z. Zach's Picks of the Week this week. Go show it some love. And ever since I could remember, I've always been about a bag. Rather stack it up than pop a tag. Ever since I could remember, I've been high back some weaves. Rolling around the city getting lead ever since I could remember. And I always been low. That's probably why the gang roll ever since I could remember. And those are going to be all my recommendations for Zach's Picks of the Week, so I hope you guys enjoyed them. Be sure to go check them out on Canadian Beats or on all your favorite streaming platforms. And as well, go check us out on all your favorite social medias like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They're all linked in the description down below, including my own. So please, go show me some love. I really would appreciate that. Thank you. And don't forget to keep up to date with the Weekly Beatdown and everything that Canadian Beats has got coming out on our channel by hitting that subscribe button, punching that notification bell right in the freaking dinger, hitting the like button. That would be really appreciated because it helps out the analytics and everything that helps people see the videos more that would be great and as well as hit that heart on instagram if you're watching it there and that's pretty much going to be it for the episode so i hope you guys enjoyed it if not well then i'm sorry because well 
I'll let you in on a little secret. I don't know what the intro looks like as of this point when I'm recording, so it could be complete garbage. I don't know. Could be really great, too. I don't know that either, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm sorry if you didn't, and I'll try harder next time, but peace, love, and good music, everybody. I hope you have an amazing week. See you guys in the next episode, which is next Monday, and I'll have more music then. So that's it. I got no inspirational quotes, so I'll see you when I see you. Love you. Bye. (laughs) 